Hey everyone, Tech Gamer here. Here I've got my first ever 4K web camera, the Logitech Brio. I've heard nothing but good things about these cameras, so I am super excited to find out if they live up to the hype. Let's open this thing up and get it started. Okay everyone, welcome back. So here we have the Logitech Brio 4K Pro webcam. So let's open this thing up and see what's inside. Okay, so right as soon as we open the box, there's the web camera. Looks like it's just sent in a piece of packaging, plastic packaging here. Go ahead and pull that out and just put it aside for a minute. See what else we have in the box here. Okay, so we have some more packaging with the stuff looks like it's inside here. We've got a Looks like a USB-C to a USB 3.0 cable. Looks like we've got a carry bag here for the camera. Yep, that's what this is. So we've got a carry bag and a supplied USB cable. And it looks like we have an additional clip that could be used to stick to a laptop screen or a small monitor screen, something like that. And we've also got uh, instructions here, how to put the clip on, how to mount it on a tripod, your typical compliance and warranty information, safety and compliance warranty information, again, a different one, and just typical directions and setup here. So I'll go ahead and leave all that stuff in the box because move this aside here. Okay, so let's check out this camera now. Let's go ahead and take it out of this plastic here. Put that aside. This thing has got some weight to it, actually. It feels a lot heavier than the other uh, Logitech cameras I've used in the past. Looks like it's got three different um, lenses. I'm assuming the two on the right are for infrared and things like Windows Hello because I know this camera does support it. It's got our USB connector on the back and we've got the mount and clip in plastic here. Oh no, this looks like it's a pretty sturdy looking device. I'm gonna go ahead and peel the plastic off the front, take it off the top. So this is a 4K web camera so I can tell by looking at it that it does not have optical zoom. This looks like it's only digital because I see that there's no way that that lens could rotate to zoom in. So this looks like it only has a digital zoom, which for my use case is perfectly fine. To get an optical zoom on a web camera, you need to basically get into the business class line of web cameras and they start at like a thousand dollars. I'm impressed with this. It's definitely very nice looking. Definitely feels looks like it's a good quality build. Um, the clip, let's see if I can get the clip open here. Okay, so it's your standard looking Logitech clip to mount to a, to a monitor or sit upright on like a desk or something along, along those lines. Feels pretty good, good quality plastic, nothing too cheap. So this particular web camera I got for $145 with free shipping from Amazon. I've seen them go as high as 200 retail and then even higher on some third party stores. A year ago when I started looking for a better web camera and COVID happened, these devices were going for four or $500 and you couldn't find them anywhere for retail pricing. So the fact that I was able to get them for $145 was a pretty good deal. I'm happy about that, that the prices on web cameras are finally starting to come down and stock has been replenished. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead next and get this hooked up to a computer and do some testing with it. I'm gonna compare it to my existing web camera 
here. So you can see this is a 1080p web camera and this is the Logitech Brio. So we're gonna go ahead and try these two out side by side and see how the quality is. I'm excited to see which one's better and I'm pretty sure I know what the winner's gonna be. Okay, so let's um, get this hooked up to a computer and check it out. Okay, everyone, I've got a special treat for you here. You get not one of me, you get two of me. So on our left, we have the Logitech Brio capturing video in 4K. On the right, we have the Logitech C920 capturing video in 1080p. I set up this little demonstration here to show you the real world differences between a 4K and a 1080p camera. This video is being captured by the Logitech Capture application. I have not edited or adjusted any of the settings on either camera. Everything you see is the default settings. Look at the difference between these two cameras. The Logitech C920, everything's dark, dull, and just washed out. When the Logitech Brio, everything pops and the colors are so much more vibrant and everything just looks alive. I mean, look at my shirt. Look at the color quality on the Logitech Brio compared to the Logitech C920. Another item of note, look at the range of view. The Logitech Brio has a full 90 degree range of view while the Logitech C920 only has a 78 degree range of view. So that's a huge difference. Here's my left wall, there's my right wall. I don't know if they're just my camera at all. I get an awesome view and much better angles than having to fidget around with either camera. Look at the background. I mean, look at those Star Wars pictures. The color and contrast on the Brio is so much better than the C920. Chewbacca and R2-D2, C-3PO and Yoda are so much clearer and more alive. I love in the brightness on this. That to me alone is huge. I mean, I have one light in my office here and there's a light on out in the hallway. And look at the difference in detail for the brightness. It is so much brighter and more alive in here. One of the biggest issues I've always had when I'm creating my YouTube videos or streaming on Twitch is I'm constantly adjusting colors, brightness, all that stuff, just to get that perfect shot. This is, Brio is gonna make my life so much easier. Okay, let me go ahead and switch back to a normal view now. Okay, everyone, so I've gone ahead here and brought up the standard view. So I gotta tell you, I am in love with the Logitech Brio. This is a really great quality camera with such an attractive price point. I paid $150 for this camera on Amazon. I would have expected something with this range of quality and detail to go for three, four, five hundred dollars retail with no questions asked. This camera does everything that I want. It provides me with the range of colors I was looking for, the brightness, the detail, everything I needed in a camera without having to do a thing. I literally just plugged this camera in, I didn't change a single setting, and I am good to go. It is just that good of a camera. The only considerations I really noted was the fact that it doesn't have an optical zoom, which means it's a software-based zoom, but that's okay. Nine times out of 10, the average person who's using a web camera is not gonna zoom in on anything. They're literally gonna be using it just like I am, where it's three, four feet from your face, and you're just using it to film yourself. That's exactly what my use case is gonna be also. The other thing I noted is it does require a USB 3 connection. Now. That USB 3 connection is required to capture 4K video. If you don't have a USB 3 connection, you can use a USB 2 connection, but you only get video in 1080p. The other consideration regarding that connection is, if you're using this device with a laptop, some modern laptops, especially the thinner ones, don't have the USB ports everyone's used to. They've switched to the newer standard called USB-C. Now, I would have liked to have seen this web camera come with a USB-C to USB-C cable, but it came with a USB-C to USB-3 cable, which for my use case is perfectly okay. I'm sure that Logitech has a solution to make it USB-C to USB-C, so that is something if you're interested in, you could look into. Overall, I highly recommend this camera. If you want to get into the 4K web camera stuff, 
this camera is for you. It has a very attractive price point at $150 to $200 retail, and it will meet all of your needs for years to come. If anybody has any questions or comments, please drop a comment on this video. Please click that like button and subscribe to the channel, and I will see everyone soon.